Okay, we are done with this time balance property, and right now we are trying to understand what your expense report means. Say, for example, if my account zero to two zero is an expense account, means it is cost to company. It is not profit to company. It is cost to company. So, in this cost to company, I want to find my how my actual and budgets are ranged. Mm -hmm. So in that scenario, I tag this particular member as expense. This is an expense account, and these are non-expense accounts. So now I'll say save. I've saved this. Once I tag this expense of accounting, it will be used mostly with your scenario dimension. So I'll create a scenario dimension. Scenario and the scenario I'm creating something called actual. Budget. And apart from that, I also want to see some variance. Variance and even do that. I want to see variance between how my actuals are going and how my budgets are going. So if it is non-expense account, I will always be minusing my actuals minus budget just from that. And if it is an expense account, budget minus actuals. It is uh, accounting term. This is an accounting fund. Now we see accounting fund. This is nothing specific with your IP. This is a statistical function. So to avail this expense reporting, the expense reporting will work change to all entity. You should put a formula on your variance. And there is a standard function for it called at where. At where of actuals. Budget. Right now we are not seeing whether it is an expense account or it is a non-expense account. We are writing it on a global level. Accounts A and A also. What are it be? I am writing this function. And now I will say verify. I will say okay. See, I am putting a dynamic calc on this, so it has to be calculated dynamically. Okay. So now I am going back because I am having a new dimension. I will say as this, let's see. So. I am having all my dimensions. I am taking my period as January. I will take my two accounts because I am having a non expense account on this, assets and revenues. So keep on this. Here I am taking as F11. Product I am taking from raw product. This is key. I am taking only cars. Now, from scenario, I am doing a forecast. I am doing a scenario. Now, in assets, I have thousand assets. In actions, I am expecting. I am budgeting it for. Some nine hundred. Now, I'll say lock. I'll say, and I'm saying retrieve. Depends on the same hundred. The same number I'm putting onto other two accounts. Bill will be done for sure. So revenue will be put here. So, E C two zero is my expense account. I'll say with this lock. Is this same? Before retrieving, what I do is I tag this as I already tag this as an expense report, expense reporting, but I'll rename and give some alias name to it also. Say expense account. Two expense accounts. This is same. Okay. 
ุทธ์ C for assets and revenue I'm getting 100 but for my expense account I'm getting it as minus and the inverse only for whichever is tagged as expense reporting it is calculating budget minus are they non expense accounts are not the actual minus Budget minus actual, I have given all my scenario that bar variance in the Variance, how I am finding my variance? I am finding my variance between actual and budget. Mm -hmm. A variance means when expense reporting in the work change for it. And I should clearly differentiate which is an expense and which is not an expense. Mm -hmm. So in that situation, I type this one. Variance. I mean, first, you know, I can have budget minus actual. Yes. 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 Because it is an expense account. Business knows it is an expense account. For business sake, and plus no chin of it is fault. Business is expecting that number so is minus. By default, uh, business, by default. business knows it. Okay. It is an expense account. Okay. So expense accounts are minus, minus, minus. Say you have to find the difference between your actual and budget. What is the reason for What is your total retrieve? You see, okay, this is an expense account. So it should be 900 minus 1000. It should be minus 100. Okay, correct question. Allah Agama could have 100 or 900 minus 1000 you see. Why it is showing 100? Make it as minus 100. So at that time what you will do? You tag this particular account as expense. Okay, expense. If you remove that formula, this will not be calculated. You calculate that one. Variance calculated that one, you have to write that formula. Actual minus budget class are also known to me. I need to handle the division. Not all to me. The correct expense account for my own name. Budget minus actual award. Expense. Whatever name. Expense under the account. You will be having somewhere around 10,000 expense accounts. But I need to know a lot of different shade here. Only expense. Budget. Only expense. Budget minus actual. Yeah. This is about your expense reporting. The next thing is about your time dimension. You want to see about your time dimension. I'll take the same Excel sheet. In this time dimension, I'll keep on the actuals and I'll pull out my January to the top. Malikino is the actuals. Okay. I have this way. Now I want to see QTD. QTD of March. And then in March law, na, March work na total quarter balances and total. I want to see what is my total balances on my quarter work. So total balances till March. Maybe the February law, na, no? I want to see. I want to see QTD of February. Then it should show January to February. February plus aggregated value. I am keeping every time in March, and if I see QPD of March, it should show January plus February plus March. This is not a day by transaction system. We will be loading on monthly basis. Month is last. We will load load yes, and we summarize the data. Say enough from number 1 to 2. So you can have different types of dynamic times. And we we outline the each person now. But still you can dynamically calculate. So for that, what you can do is go on to your time period, time dimension, right click on this and say dynamic time series. And you can have these many number of dynamic time series. You can have history to the date, year to date, session to date, period to date, quarter to date, month to date, week to date, day to date. That session. Session when you are having different sessions. If you are not going with quarters, say for example, if you are dividing a quarter into 10 sessions, okay. then you will be going with this session here. Okay? So, the main pro main catch in this is, what is your granular level in your time dimension? Months or granular level. So, you have to take one level above it. And then months finally will make quarter summary. So, you have to take this QPD only. Work only for QTD and select this QTD 
and on what generations it has to work actually. It has to work on second generation and then say oh. and say save and say okay and then come back to this Microsoft Excel and here I'll say Q dash T dash D of Fib. And if I say refresh, it is refreshing 1000. And if I put 1 and 2 and 1 in this, then I'll say lock and send. I cannot lock and send on this number. So I'll say a space lock a space send. And if I say retrieve, you can just say quarter one minute, one zero two. Can it is calling till QTD of September. The same way if you put QTD of December, two a month is there, and you want to Fourth quarter, October plus November plus December quarter was. You will not be getting Last quarter. Only last quarter. QTD. Quarter to date. Oh, sorry. Quarter to date. QTD of December. Last quarter. This is how you can enable oh, your. Yeah. This is how you can enable your dynamic time series. Okay. So with this, we have completed. You and apart from this, you don't have any other options in your time dimension. So with this, we have completed account dimension, time dimension. And if you have an entity dimension, you, have, you can have country and you don't find any differences between your entity <coughs> dimension. And if you are having a currency database, you can have currency partition. So with this we have completed accounts, the time, country and currency. And next thing is attribute dimension. <coughs> country, just entity and a dimension on that one. Entity and a dimension. Time, you can tag it as country and you don't find any big differences. That is, the extra properties in that, okay? And even with your currency partition when you are using currency database. Okay. So with this, we have completed with your standard dimensions. The next thing is about your attribute dimensions. So attribute dimensions are to be created at end of your, or at bottom of your dimensions, of your standard dimensions. Attribute dimensions are to create create JL and they should be created at bottom of your outlet. Bottom of your outlet. So to create an attribute dimension, say I'm creating something called class. And if I want to tag this particular dimension as attribute, I can right click on this and then say read member properties and then this dimension type and say if I tag this particular dimension as attribute, you have to define what type of attribute it is. You can have four types of attributes, nothing but boolean, numeric, text and date. You can have a date type of attribute, you can have a text type of attribute, you can have a numeric type of attribute or you can have a true or false attribute. And most of the times we will be going with text. I will say, okay. yes, it is asking whether you are sure in creating this particular Okay, I'm making scenario as attribute dimension. I'll select this big member properties and I'll make it as attribute and then make it as text. It is asking whether you want to make it as an attribute. Yes. So this this particular dimension has become an attribute dimension. After this dimension, if you try to create any dimension it will automatically become an attribute it will, it will allow but automatically it will become an attribute okay yeah above that you can create an dimension above that you can create a dimension okay okay now if i try to verify this outline like this only in attribute very directly if i verify it throws an error saying that Attribute dimension is not associated to your base dimension. Your attribute dimensions cannot exist on their own. They have to be associated to some other dimensions, to some one, some other base dimension or standard dimensions. Until the attribute dimensions are you have to attach them to some, some of your standard dimension. 
and in that standard dimension, these attribute dimensions always should be attached with only sparse dimension. They cannot be associated with your dense dimension. If I try to uh, edit this and if I want to associate or if I want to attribute, attribute dimensions can only be associated with sparse. So this means your attribute dimensions can be associated with only sparse dimensions. Now I can attach this to product dimension. Okay. With this, I have attached class. I am trying to delete this. I don't require this. associated it if I verify it like this. So now I have attached this. Now I cannot attach this attribute to any other dimension. It can be attached to only one sparse standard dimension. Standard sparse dimension. Okadanic matter may attach it. You cannot attach this class to again your scenario. You can attach it to only one standard dimension. And your standard dimensions can have any number of attribute dimensions. Say, <coughs> I can associate this risk here. This is about your attribute dimension, but why we have to use this attribute dimension? For what purpose we have to use this attribute dimension? Say for example, in your period dimension, if you remember, we used something called good months. For reporting purpose, I have used this good months. With this, what is happening? Your shared numbers you are using at the same time, your outline size is increasing and your complexity is growing. So instead of growing this complexity, I will associate this attribute to this dimension product and in this what I will do is I will finally say, uh, and say good goods out of this I am checking uh, quality I am checking class uh, what type of class I am having so under this I can have under class I can have E class I can have E class B class C class type of goods in this. Now I want to see all A class goods. In the moment I come on my in this all of them. You can go A class and a member to create Jesse, shared members to create Jesse, so and and create it. A class, B class. Class. We used to create in this fashion, under that we used to create the same members. Say for example, if this is a and being one bit of used to tag this particular accounts as shared members in the one line. Kada? We used to do this. Now instead of doing in, doing in this fashion, I can directly associate unique, uh, attributes to these products. So, how to associate that? Edit member properties. If you go into your association tab, under that, I can associate A to it. Direct work, not product, open up, class, URL. Attribute. You need not go and do this. So now attribute in the now class A and attribute in the A way we go product one one go product two two are class A. So then again edit member properties association and tag this also as A. 
Attribute is defined here. And I am associating it to my scenario. Where is it? 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 ये क्लासेस इकट्ठा डिफाइन किया है ये क्लासेस किन्हें ये मेंबर्स का हुआ है आ मेंबर्स इकट्ठा डिफाइन किया है ओके नाउ आई सेस सेव नाउ आई गोइंग टू दिस वेलकम रिट्रीव इन रिट्रीव ओनली दिस मेनी नंबर ऑफ मेंबर्स तो ना कि बस क्लास का हुआ आई वांट ये टू बी रिट्रीव जस्ट आई प्रेस ये एंड सेव रि� ये तो ये वाली चीज़ नहीं होती। Now, if I want to see what is present under ये, तब उसमें कौन है? Car, bike। Car ने product को, bike ने product। ये car और bike ने बस नंबर लिया सेने लिया सेने आपको car और bike। अगर मतलब product one one हो, product two। ये रेंडू ही default अंडर को है। Direct का नहीं तो summarize का amount अच्छा सी। ये नए वाला नहीं प्रोडक्ट वन वन प्रोडक्ट टू टू वाले तो ये क्लास में कुछ सही ये क्लास में कुछ जान कुछ हम नहीं करेंगे बट ये क्लास हमें भी एसोसिएट किया ये क्लास हमें मेंबर ने डिफाइन किया आ मेंबर ने कर डिफाइन किया बट ये ये क्लास में क्यों रहा वर्ष करो वाला में रजिस्टर जैसा करा वन वन में टू टू इसमें ना ये किन्हें यार और उन्हें तार समूह तारक वन वन तारक टू अनेक इवेंट एंड टीवी शेड में बनो वर्चुअल को रियल को प्रेजेंट आएंगे डेट फिजिकल को कल भी चेंज होगा बना फिर करा दिन तो मिस साइट पे रिव्यू होता है अरे दिन वाले पे जस्ट इमेंबर नहीं इमेंबर नहीं इमेंबर नहीं क्रिएट इन दो कॉल्स हम मैक्सिमम टाइम्स विल गो विथ चेयर मेंबर सो मैक्सिमम टाइम्स व्हेन यू हैव अ वेरी स्पेसिफिक डेफिनेशन अबाउट योर क्लासिफाइंग योर डेटा ये डेटा में क्लासिफाई जैसे वगैरह स्पेसिफिक जो प्रति अकाउंट हो इट हैज टू फॉल अंडर दिस थ्री रीजन्स कंपलसरी ना इधर इट हैज टू फॉल अंडर क्ल कंपलसरी भी डिफाइन है छह अलग में अलांट अप बोलो अभी छह में बस तो ये चीज़ का कस्टम है अल्टरनेट हाइड अप तो ये चीज़ का कस्टम है बस सिचुएशन भी बहुत फर्जी सा है एंड वन मोर प्रॉब्लम इतनी है छह में बस इस यू कैन हैव टू छह में बस इस छह में बस टू टू अनेक अनेक मनी क्लास बी के it starts degrading their performance. The performance will degrade their system. The only ones who get things, they start with this advantage. This is one advantage. Now the second advantage, now I am able to retrieve my A. Now I want to see what is the maximum amount that has been entered in A. Because under A, I have car, I have bike. Say for example, for time being, I will delete this. जिनको 1000 एंटर किया था ना, अंदर दिस सेम टाइम आई एम आल्सो इंपोर्टिंग 2000, फिर अ टू, फिर अ थ्री, फिर अ आई डोंट आई डोंट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डू एनीथिंग इन दिस, एंड आई एम सेइंग लॉकिंग एंड सेंडिंग दिस डेटा, लॉक, एस दिस, सेंड, नंबर से रिट्री, इवन इफ आई रिट्री, इ now, instead of this car and bike, what I am doing is A and A. If you retrieve this, automatically calculate it. That's why you have a shared number, you have a shared number, you have a class, you have a dynamic calculator. So, you have to calculate the value of the number of the dynamic calculator. You have to calculate the value of the number of the number. And you have a dynamic calculator. By default, if you see the storage property, it is dynamic cell. You cannot change. You cannot change the storage property of your attribute dimension. Okay, attribute dimension or the member property change. So for that, you are automatically getting this value. Only. Here, in the key, three thousand dollars. It's cut in just one. 
If you double click on this, car in the thousand only, in the two thousand only, you are getting thousand plus two thousand, you are getting this car. Now, I will remove all these columns. I will remove even this. And I will remove this. And then I retrieve, I am getting summarized data on January. In January, I want to see what was the maximum data. Ever maximum data in the case. Car or case, bike or case, or not allowed. Maximum amount in the case. Ever case, or not some random number. 2000 ever case, or not. Alani, yanta mandi data submit data. 3 users, or not. Now, 2 users, or not. 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 2 users, or even though you are not having in your outline, insert, pull this January up, put it up, max and up, and I put up, min and up, average and up, okay, min, max, min, average, sum and up, it ended with sum, 3000 already actually, or 3000 it was, average and count was. I said retrieve. I'm able to see. Maximum amount on the 2000. Minimum amount on the 1000. Average 2000 by, by 2. Okay. Sum 3000. Count 3000. So you only. You don't have any such numbers. The outline of max will count on every day. But still you are able to. Attributed. This is possible with attribute dimension. With making your reporting still easier. Okay, these are the advantages of your attribute dimension. Okay, so what are the disadvantages? Disadvantages is you can associate this to only one dimension. This is a disadvantage. I want to decide them on all dimensions. The class on the one and the one in the other. At the same time, I cannot associate them to dense dimension. So, the general disadvantage in overcome is a weakening of the community property called user defined attributes. In user defined attributes, you can associate them to any dimension. I can attach my user defined attribute. User defined attribute on the one and the other one is a different dimension. Directly you can right click on this, edit member properties and you have some property called UDOs, go into this, type your properties, good, Q, asset, user defined attribute dot and even view 3 was my good quarter, I will say, Store good products. I have attached this good queue here. I can attach this to my account dimension. Same name, right? Same name. Economic good queue. Do we not put good queue save or deliver? What all are my good queues? Quarter two plus quarter three hour. So for that, I can use this good queue. Now, at the same time, I can attach this same good queue on my account. Can also if you want. See. It doesn't make sense, but attach here to one choose. You don't have any problem with that. So do this. And if I say very fast. These are the advantages of your attributes. Same thing. Yeah. But what is the problem with user defined attributes? User defined attributes the problem in that they cannot be used in your reporting system. So it's not reporting. I use it. Whatever you stand as UDA. UDA. Our members use it. Our particular UDA in the reporting chain. When you put it, I think A and B to retrieve this to change. If I put say good Q, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Good Q and A work hard. But 
why we are using it? Can we use this? This means for your calculation purpose. Use a different type. At least most of the time, we are using calculation. If your calculation script, you have a good performance in uh, uh, with UDA, you have good performance in calculation script. Your attributes doesn't show that good performance in your uh, calculation script. And in reporting systems, your attributes can be used. Again, this is the yeah. reporting system. Reporting system table system, the system will retrieve this for us. Attributes can be used. Can I can. Why can't I? जनवरी how first initially you are going to define which is an asset and which is a revenue. So, UDA cut off. UDA, A account is an asset, what is asset? UDA. A account is an expense or revenue, a particular account is an revenue. Calculate asset account, asset item, UDA asset item, give last, mark value. That is UDA, Revenue is generated in simple language. That's not the same thing. This way you can differentiate. For that reason, you can use user data analysis. For reporting purpose, I want to calculate all, I want to see all good quarters. Good quarters are needed to run. That's what I have to do. So, revenue is just application. Application only is just. In the long run, even if you will be used. Yeah, because here right here, right now in this three weeks I have been using both, right? Good to use this and use this. And if you do this, maximum calculation script space is a lot of work. Attributes to reports for some reason. So, majorly they will be asking about, they are asking the difference between user-defined attributes and attributes. Attributes will mean that's how to make user-defined attributes, so you don't have user-defined attributes. They are not the user-defined attributes. Uh, attributes cannot be tagged with the best on which we use it, depends on the language differences on which we have. So, with this, we will complete our dimensions. So, we will complete our dimensions again. To my knowledge, regular relevant to the time of Dhanakan, at least two, three points, if you want to get on it, there is no point left behind. In fact, mention can be to any of the dimensions for us. Only thing is, how to decide and where to decide which is a best dimension and which is a best class dimension. Yala best dimension of this photo, yala class dimension of this photo. For maximum combinations, if data exists, maximum dense combinations, in the dimension we will tag that for particular dimension as best dimensions. And for maximum combinations which, in which data doesn't exist, such dimensions are tagged as sparse dimensions. Maximum combinations, sparse combinations, the data order. Our dimensions in one moment are sparse dimensions. Maximum combinations, the dense dimensions in one moment must be data order. Such dimensions are called as dense dimensions. Normally, your account dimension will fall under dense dimension. Because all accounts are being used. Even product can be yours. Say for example, your time period can be a sparse dimension. In other words, in January, there will be no February. And January, February, there will be a business. Remaining one for free. You are not entering any data into that. You say year is low. Year is low. Year is a sparse. Scenario is also a sparse. Sparse. I mean, I actually have a budget. And then, entity can be... Because every entity will make a job. Yes. That you have to decide manually. That will be deciding factors very hard. So, maximum times you can check by changing these combinations. Two combinations will change yes, default calculator yes, and the separate one also. Separate image based on it. Or default calculation on it. Every time you are changing the dimension, you have to take it new image. Okay, fresh instance bed con, dila bed con fresh instance. We will not have density sparse on the even set chain again. दिन में तो पस्त कैलकुलेट रन जाएगा, रन जाएगा तो इंटरटाइम दिस कंडीशन में चेक
దీని మీద చాలా చాలా రన్ చేసే కంటే ముందే స్టేక్ ఇమేజ్ అవుతుంది అంటే దీని కాపీ ఒక దగ్గర పెట్టుకోండి సో దీని మీద క్యాల్ కాల్ రన్ అవుతుంది ఎంత టైం పట్టింది దెన్ ఆఫ్టర్ దాట్ చేంజ్ దిస్ ఇయర్ టు డేస్ ఏ దాంట్లో మీ దగ్గర ఫ్రెష్ ఇమేజ్ ఉంది దాన్ని తీసుకొని దాంట్లో కాంబినేషన్ చేంజ్ చేసి మళ్ళీ దాని మీద రన్ చేయండి సో ఎన్ని ఎంత టైం పడుతుంది కాలిక్యులేషన్ <laughs> at same time for the calculations tomorrow we will be discussing about calculations securities outline order automation that will complete your calculation calculation is written calculation will take some error on one one hour one one and a half it max that one of functions is done and apart from that still you can have reference on technical reference so with the course అంటే అట్లీస్ట్ మీరు ఎగ్జిస్ట్ అవ్వడానికి ఫార్ములా ఫంక్షన్స్ చెప్తాం లోపలికి వెళ్ళగానే రెగ్యులర్లీ యూజ్ ఈవెన్ ఇన్ రియల్ టైమ్ మీరు యూజింగ్ ఓన్లీ టెన్ టు ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఫంక్షన్స్ దే నాట్ బీ యూజింగ్ ఆల్ ద ఫంక్షన్ మీరు యూజింగ్ వెరీ ఫ్యూ ఫంక్షన్ అండ్ అట్ ది సేమ్ టైమ్ మీరు మీకు అన్ని ఫంక్షన్స్ చెప్పాలనుకోండి మీరు అలా అదే వరకు అని చెప్తారు ఇంత కష్టమైతే అన్నీ వద్దు ఫస్ట్ ట్రై టు స్టార్ట్ యూజ్ దిస్ ట్వంటీ ఫంక్షన్స్ దట్ ఐ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ ఆ తర్వాత బాగా అర్థమైతేనాయి దాని బట్టి మీ ఎస్పీఎస్ బిహేవియర్ గానీ అర్థమవుతుంది నేను మీకు ఎంత చెప్పినా కానీ యూ హ్యావ్ టచ్ ఇట్ ఆ ఎస్పీఎస్ మీరు అర్థం చేసుకోవాలి ఇంకా ఎస్పీఎస్ అస్ ఎస్ క్యూబ్ చూడాలి ఎస్పీఎస్ ఈజ్ గెటింగ్ స్టోర్ డేటా ఇన్ ఆల్ డైమెన్షన్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ గెటింగ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ స్టోరింగ్ డేటా ఓన్లీ ఆన్ జనవరి చూడండి ఎందుకంటే ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ చాలా మంది ఫేస్ చేస్తారు సమ్మేటా ఇక్కడ సో ఇప్పుడు మీరు ఎవరు ఉన్నారు ఈ డేటా జనవరి కింద బుక్ అయింది అనుకుంటాను ఎందుకంటే ఇది జనవరి బట్టి నేనేమంటాను అలా కాదు ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో బుక్ అండ్ దట్ యూర్ అసెట్ అంటాను ఇప్పుడు ఈ కాంబినేషన్ లో ఏది ఇక్కడ పెట్టినా మీకు వచ్చే థౌజండ్ డే కానీ డిఫరెన్స్ ఎక్కడ వస్తుందంటే ఈ కాంబినేషన్ తో మీరు ఇన్కేస్ డ్రిల్ అప్ చేశారు అకౌంట్ జీరో వన్ అండ్ ఇఫ్ ఐ రన్ మై అగ్రిగేషన్ కెన్ అగ్రిగేట్ ఆన్ యువర్ అకౌంట్ డైమెన్షన్ యూ కెన్ చెక్ ఆన్ యువర్ అకౌంట్ డైమెన్షన్ అలా కాదు నాకు ఇప్పుడు విత్ అసెట్స్ అండ్ రెవెన్యూస్ ఐఎమ్ గెటింగ్ టూ థౌజండ్ నేను అలా కాకుండా ఈ అకౌంట్ తో వాట్ ఈస్ మై జనవరి డేటా ఓకే ఐ సే కీప్ ఆన్ మీ అండ్ ఐ సే జనవరి నవ్ ఐ వాంట్ టు సీ విత్ దిస్ అకౌంట్ వాట్ ఈస్ మై డేటా ఆన్ క్వార్టర్ వన్ అంటే ఇది జనవరి ప్లస్ ఫిబ్రవరి ఇస్తుంది ఏ అకౌంట్ ఈ అకౌంట్ ఇది టూ డైమెన్షన్స్ లో చూస్తుంది నవ్ ఐ వాంట్ టు సీ మై డేటా ఆన్ ఇయర్ షో మన్ ఇయర్ ఆల్సో అంటే డిఫరెంట్ వాల్యూస్ మీద మంత్ ఇయర్స్ లో డేటా వేసింది ఎస్ అలానే వాట్ ఇస్ సీఎన్ మై డిఫరెంట్ ప్రోడక్ట్స్ అంటే డైమెన్షన్స్ అనేవి ఇప్పుడు ఇక్కడ ఎన్ని డైమెన్షన్స్ లో చూడొచ్చు సిక్స్ డైమెన్షన్స్ లో బికాస్ ఐ హావ్ సిక్స్ డైమెన్షన్స్ ఐ కెన్ చెక్ మై డేటా ఇన్ సిక్స్ డిఫరెంట్ వ్యూస్ ఓకే సో ఈ డేటా అనేది ఎలా స్టోర్ అవుతుంది అనేది బాగా అర్థం చేసుకోండి ఎక్కడ
ఈ దాంట్లోనే వెళ్ళి రిటర్న్ చేసుకోవచ్చు ఏ టెంప్లే టెంప్లెట్ అనే కాదు ప్లానింగ్ టెంప్లెట్ ని మాత్రమే రిటర్న్ చేయవచ్చు అలా కాకుండా నువ్వు ఈవెన్ ఎగ్జాస్ నుంచి నీకు ఎలా కావాలంటే అలా రిటర్న్ చేసుకోవచ్చు లెట్ మిస్ So this is the service that you need to start externally. I can provide a service. Start. That, that gets stabilized for some time. So in my sheet here I am connecting to connection provider. Then the time is 9.3 or come along we used to log in with provider services. Another one thing you need to use to connect to share services. Share services URL though connecting. Share services we are connecting. Share services we are connecting. And we put it. You can directly connect to your SBS without using shared services also. Don't be. Now, it's an independent provider and a common provider. Independent provider and you're going into shared services. 11.1.1. Yes, sir. అక్కడికి వెళ్ళినా కానీ మీకు డైరెక్ట్గా అక్కడ యూఆర్ఎల్ ఇవ్వచ్చు మీరు షేర్ సర్వీసెస్ యూఆర్ఎల్ ఇచ్చారు అనుకోండి ఇట్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ షేర్ సర్వీసెస్ యూఆర్ ప్రొవైడర్ సర్వీసెస్ యూఆర్ఎల్ ఇచ్చారు ప్రొవైడర్ సర్వీసెస్ ద్వారా కరెక్ట్ అవుతుంది ప్రొవైడర్ సర్వీసెస్ ఇస్ లెంత్ టు కనెక్ట్ టు దిస్ త్రూ స్మార్ట్ వ్యూ స్మార్ట్ వ్యూ టు కనెక్ట్ అవ్వడం కోసం అది యూజ్ చేస్తాను సో నో ఇఫ్ ఐ వాంట్ టు కనెక్ట్ టు మై రైఫల్ ఎస్పీస్ ఐ సి డిస్కనెక్ట్ డిలీట్ సారీ I need this. Admin and maybe AD and I am not asking. If I want to add some SBS server, directly plus button in the word, we will be able to connect out. Or I call BI server and say, nothing but your uh, uh, OBI, WE, financial reports, everything we can put in this. Or I call SBS, or I call SBS. I can say, right now I am connecting to Oracle SBS. Varma, admin password, your SBS server gets connected. you are able to see all your applications din din na form se mana untai expand out you can directly see add up and plan it you can there already direct link to the you need to move in the next is your dimensions let din din na fill down this part okay product uh you did directly here you can put there is an excel sheet can be excel adding సో 
we can go into this also, if you can learn it, keep only, zoom in, zoom out, and all are going to be seen. Now here me, you can use for all of them. Here I can go check for you. Smart meet XLR and gender name, forms and planning to connect for the XLR and the planning to connect for all of them. And at the same time, the provider service and everything, it is working in XML format. And then, spark this. Whereas here, is this, XML added is working to APIs, application programming interface. Okay, do this. After you have applied to this code, I can use it on my device. Excellent. Right. Oh, all those questions. Okay, let's stop. चपला रहा था ना तेरे को? चेंज हो गया? हाँ तो नहीं चपला था ना? मैं मैं आने चपला नो इन टाइम आउट टाइम हो चुका है। हाँ नहीं मारा। आने वाले इन चपला तो मतलब नहीं नहीं लगा रहा हूँ सारे। हम्म चुप करने में ना वो मुझे पता है। नहीं नहीं लगा इतने फोल्डिंग में तो डायरेक्ट डेटा लेता है अतंदर डेटा पीसी तो लैपटॉप बेस्ट होना नहीं ट्रांसफर बेस्ट बेस्ट नहीं बेस्ट कौन करेगा नेक्स्ट ईवी का तो नेक्स्ट वीक ऑफ करने का प्लानिंग संक्रांत का नेक्स्ट वीक Planning like even EPM one with this color, advanced versus. Okay.